Meanwhile, youth advocates are lamenting the high rate of crime in Nigeria as a result of illicit drug abuse. They also made a call for more counseling to curb the menace of drug abuse. Correspondent Peace Ogenebawe covered a news conference by We the Youth Organization to commemorate International Day for Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking and now completes the story. Executive Director, We the Youth Organization, Ambassador Jerry Agala suggested ways to deal with drug abuse by stopping stigmatization of drug abusers through counseling. A lot of times we have stigmatized those who are addicted to drugs and substance abuse. So whenever we want to talk about that, they become so touchy about it. So I think the first thing is to accept them and don't make them feel um, they're already sentenced to death. Counselors should be able to know how to play around some of these things without necessarily having a formal sit out. He assures of collaboration with anti-drug agencies to stem the tide of drug abuse. We as a civil society organization, we are committed to lending our voice to whatever project the government intends to engage in to support them as a responsible agency to stem in the tide of this monster through our various initiatives. And we are very certain that there would be victory. Experts on drug identification and research, Dr. Victor Fadipe, called on families, institutions, and media to form a synergy to manage youth across country so as to protect society and build a successive environment. The multiplier effect and devastating effect of a drug abuse in society is enormous. By the time all the youths are consumed by drug abuse, whom are we going to hand over the succession of the development of the community we find ourselves into? Special Assistant to former Governor of Cross River State on print media, Honorable John A. Briku Friday, recommends immediate action to stop abuse of substance, linking it to high rise or vices in society. The government and all of these other stakeholders have to come together in helping these young people to recover and to come out of these dangerous substances they have abused themselves with that has, of course, destroyed their, their life, destroyed their future, and all of that. International Day Against Drugs and Illicit Trafficking is a day set aside by United Nations to advocate anti-drug abuse, especially among youth. The theme for this year is The Difference is Clear. Invest in Prevention. Peace or Genegbawe. ADBN News.